Uh, this is Jesse with Closing the Loop. Uh, I wanted to show you something that I thought was really kind of interesting. I, I used to think for a long time that, uh, that ladybugs were, you know, like they would just find where all the aphids were and they would just sit there and devour all the, the aphids. But interestingly, they're a lot like ants. Ants are, you know, corralling the aphids and they're, they're milking them. Um, and, and so ladybugs are kind of like corralling and controlling what the ants and the aphids are doing. So you have the ants that are controlling the aphids. The aphids are basically these little drones and these little slaves and, and they're all kind of uh, put in one place, uh, making it easier for the ants. What the ladybugs do is they actually control uh, how much the aphids can, can grow. And, and what I've noticed is that the, the ladybugs will go up and down all the leaves in a certain area and they'll look to see if a new colony of aphids is trying to establish itself there. And if it is, they'll, they'll immediately eat it. Um, but they'll allow one of the leaves or a couple of the leaves to have, uh, you know, a corral of, of, um, of aphids. And I just wanted to show you that. It's, it's kind of neat how they do that. That, by the way, is my new truck in the back there. I just bought that truck. Um, but anyway, this is the material point. Yeah, right there is where all the aphids are. And I was expecting to see the ladybugs would just go in and start munching away at all the aphids on this. But they don't do that. Uh, there's a ladybug right there. I don't know if you can see that. There's a ladybug right there. There's actually another two or three in the area. And so what they do is they just go up up and down the, the leaves and if uh, if they find a single aphid or a couple of aphids on a leaf, they'll they'll eradicate it. They'll get rid of it. But they don't go to the leaf where all the aphids are at, which is I don't know, which is what I always imagined. I always imagined that any aphids that they're gonna find, they're gonna eat. But they they don't do that. Um, every once in a while, you'll see them go back to the leaf where all the aphids are at, and they'll they'll grab a couple. They'll like eat one or two or three, and then, and then they go back to working on the other leaves and making sure that the aphids aren't on the other leaves. So what's the conclusion that can be uh, derived from that? Well, the conclusion is that ladybugs are really, really intelligent creatures. They're not going to decimate the aphid population. They're going to control the aphid population. They're thinking long term. The long term goal is to have enough food to last them throughout the year. If they just went ahead and decimated all the aphids, uh, they wouldn't be doing a service to them. So I just, I love that little little piece of information because, you know, it just shows the control uh, that these creatures have, you know. They, they're clearly regulated in a way that is really interesting. Um, they, they have this innate wisdom that I think, uh, you know, that we can learn from. If they, if they just completely eradicated all of the aphids that were on a particular tree, which they could easily do, I mean, they, they gobble these things down real quick. Uh, an aphid, within 20 seconds, they've already devoured an aphid and they're going on to the next one, 20, 30 seconds. You know, and then you have several, several ladybugs sometimes on a tree, but they're communicating with each other. I see them bump into each other every once in a while, and they're like, you know, hey, Joe, like, how's it going by your area? Like, I got my area clear. And, uh, you know, how are the wife and kids kind of thing, you know? <laughs> and, then, and then that's it. Then they, they go about their business. The majority of the leaves on this particular tree, the loquat, are completely free and clear of aphids. Um, but then the leaves that do have aphids have like a ton of aphids. I mean, they have they have like thousands of, of them on there, and so it's it's just I just love seeing the order of that. So why is this information important? A lot of times, what happens is you'll you'll have people and they'll see ladybugs, but they don't really understand 
the role that they play. They don't really understand um, what they do, and they don't really have a trust for them. I mean, they they might know that ladybugs are good, but how how much trust can you possibly have if you don't really understand what they're doing? Uh, you might you might come to the conclusion that they're not doing their work, or that they're not. Maybe they're just oblivious to. Um, they're oblivious to the work they need to be done. Um, but you can be assured of the fact that they are completely in control of the situation. They know where the aphids are. And so if you see aphids on your tree or you see aphids on your plants, you'll think, oh, I gotta get rid of the aphids, right? I gotta, I gotta, get, I gotta kill the aphids. And what do the majority of people do? They go to the big box stores and they buy, um, they buy some chemical and or they'll, you know, they'll do something. They'll come up with some sort of solution for getting rid of the aphids. But what are you doing when you get rid of the aphids? You're completely just taking away all the food uh, that the ladybugs have purposely, they're purposely, intelligently leaving that so that they have food for the rest of the year. They are controlling the aphid population. Right? If you observe them long enough, you'll find that the, that the ants just completely ignore the ladybugs. So what is that telling you? It, it either means that the ladybugs are totally in control of the situation, they are not threatened in any way uh, by the ants, or there's some kind of understanding between the two of them, you know, between these two creatures. You, you have to be willing to, to allow the intelligence of nature to, you got to give it a little room, you got to give, give it a little space. And if you do that, if you just leave it alone, you'll see that things work out the way that they're supposed to. Uh, people that get into gardening, sometimes they freak out over really silly things. And they, um, and it's just inexperience. Everybody knows that aphids are bad in your garden. You don't want aphids in your, in your garden. Um, but I would, I would actually say no, that isn't true. As long as you have enough ladybugs that are going to corral and, and control the situation, police the situation, because that's basically what they are. You know, they're, they're a top predator, you know, which is, is kind of like, I, I would even say that they are at the top of their food chain, right? Because you don't see birds that are going after ladybugs. Um, birds, for some reason, know to avoid ladybugs. I think there are several different food chains, and I, 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 have the, I have this thinking that I've been developing for a while that, that tells me that there are several food chains and that there are sev several predators that are, at the, that, are, that are at the top of their particular food chain. And, uh, and so when you go messing with that, you know, you, you ruin everything, you know. If you don't have ladybugs on your property, if you're not creating an environment that is, you know, conducive or friendly, uh, for having, uh, for having, you know, ladybugs, then you're you're doing a disservice to yourself. If you if you if you eliminate their their food source, then um, you're just hurting you're hurting yourself. You know, you you're taking on a responsibility that they're doing so well. You know, they they totally have it under control, and then you go and and start fussing around with it, and um, it's just it's you know, and and now it's on you. Now now the work is on you and. You know, and you're going to have a really heavy, heavy burden, uh, really heavy load to carry, you know, and that's the way it's always going to be. If you just, um, there's a, there's a guy on YouTube, his name is David the Good, and he's got a book I haven't read, but I want to, um, but I've been watching his videos and I know that he has a book and in one of his books, he talks about that topic of, of like, if you want to to have a really great garden, uh, it's not about having less insects on your garden. It's not about, you know, getting chemicals and, and getting rid of, no, you got, you want more, more insects on your garden. And the way you're going to do that is by having more variety of plants uh, in your garden. So the more, the more plants you have, the more places that you're creating that are hospitable to, to these different types of insects. An aphid, I see an aphid in a totally different light now. I don't see it as a bad thing. I see it as food for my ladybugs, right? I want ladybugs because they do a tremendous service. And, and now aphids, instead of being, you know, a pest uh, bug that needs to be eradicated and controlled, 
well, now I see it as like, well, that's free food for my darling ladybugs that I care about so much and that do so much work for me. Anyway, this is Jesse with Closing the Loop. Take care.